Now let's talk about the label tagging element. If you need to deal with multilingual reports, then you make sure not to use the fixed captions like here, but instead of them to use the labels. So how do we do that? We would work your way through these captions and start replacing them by this label tagging element. So I will select the purchase order and say instead of it I want a label. Now here we have several options. We can enter a fixed label code, something like at sys12345, that's typically approach in SSRS. But to make your life easier, remember how we saw that when we imported the DDSP file, we also imported all the labels related to all these fields in the report data source. And even uh, we went further, we imported the translations of all these labels in all the selected preview languages. So now, it's very simple to point simply to a label related to this field. So I will point to main data, purchase order header, and then again, perch ID. Here it is. So what happens now? Here I got the translation of that label in the default language. While I was generating this DDSP file, which I imported, I had a chance to say what is the default language, plus what were the additional preview languages. So in the design, I see the translation in the default language, but if I select some other preview language, for example, Spanish, then in the preview window, I will see the translation of the label in the selected preview language. And also I will see where the formatting is applied. I will see it in the culture of the selected preview language. So let's, for example, do the same thing here with this one. I will use the label for the order date, so point to this one and purchase order date. There are many other options. As I said, I could have entered some fixed label code and also you can combine this with the centric feature of user-defined labels, then you would be also able to use uh, their codes. That was about label tagging element. In the next tutorial, we will see how the image tagging element is used.